Hey guys, Dan Heilman, back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today we're going to talk about building duplicate heroes. Is it useful? Is it worth it? And also selling legendary copies of bad heroes. So you can sell them um, and get currency for the Awakened Shop. I want to talk about my opinion on both of those topics, so let's go. Okay, for the first topic, building multiple heroes. What is the use of building multiple heroes? I will give you two use cases for this, and uh, the first one, I guess most of them, is really for healers. So Hollow, for example, a great healer. What you can do is you can build one with high attack, decent healing, some attack speed, some rage regen. You can build one to actually be a good healer. So this is my healer. And then if you want to, for guild boss, you can build a second one. And we have a level up event coming. Literally, it started today. So another good reason to talk about this. I will build my second one probably today. And what you can do now is I can build a second one with a different artifact and different gear. So I can build one with really low attack and really high attack speed and rage regen for guild boss. So then I have two copies and I can use them in my auto runs. So I don't need to go through the difficulty of, you know, changing artifacts and changing gear every time you want to use a hero in two different places, which you need two different builds. OK, so I'm going to build my hollow and I have already built two Dolores and I'll kind of show you another example of why I did that. So. I have one Dolores built and I actually left her at A4. And this is kind of just so I can tell the difference because her A5 anyway is really RNG dependent. So um, I use this version of Dolores in GR2. So the reason I do that is because I want to use this artifact, which increases her initial rage so that I can use the strategy where you use the Volca A1 in GR2 and you basically drop her down, you use her buff right away, and then you use someone like Vierna to delete the wave and then you get rid of them really quickly. This is who I use for that. And um, again, I, I left her Awaken 4 because Awaken 5 is RNG and not super useful on her anyways. But it also helps me tell the difference. Uh, you can see I still haven't fully promoted her. Um, I, I don't need to. You just need enough of attack boost for GR2 to get your damage dealer to one shot the waves. Once you get to that point, it doesn't matter as much. You could even get such a strong damage dealer in that dungeon that you don't need this but uh this is a good way to do that and of course um if you're like me and you have a lot of heroes built it gives you something to build for the level up promotion events so uh and then you can see my other one over here is the one i use for guild boss so she has an invigoration set the other one had a glacier set um glacier set's more of an early game but it was like kind of when i upgraded into my invigoration set on dolores i just kept my old set that i had on dolores and i put it on that other hero so she has the keen wisdom artifact for guild boss because this is the best guild boss artifact for her so yeah that is all the reasons to build two heroes two of the same hero now let's talk about getting rid of heroes now i see a lot of people every single day in discord oh i got you know i got a crack should i delete him oh i got a nix should i delete him her um because a lot of people are like oh i see these really cool awakens in the shop if you see right here right now we have um arrogance in here so arrogance is decent but this means you have to delete what do you get a hundred is it a hundred or two hundred hold on let me check i have a hex down here that i've been saving because i see when you get like 12 azores you know selling them after you get an a5 azor but for hex i couldn't bring myself to sell him just because he is uh such a great hero so if we put him in here um, 100. Okay, so 100. So you basically need to get rid of two of these to be able to purchase one of those soul stones. Um, however, they don't usually have great heroes in there. So I don't think it is worth to sell heroes until you have them A5. If you have them A5, uh, for example, my ass pan here is A5. I have been selling extra copies of him, right? Who else have I been selling a lot of? Azor, I have gotten like 12 of him. So I have definitely sold a lot of him. Who else have I gotten lots? Um, I think I've only gotten one extra Nyx so far. I don't think I've gotten any extra cracks. 
I think that's pretty much it. I've gotten a ridiculous amount of Zoras. I see a lot of people selling them right away. Oh, Azor is useless. But I've seen some uses in here um, for Azor in Immortal Codex. And then what happens if they buff this hero, you know, in a couple months? You're going to be really mad if you sold, you know, six copies of Azor because you thought he was bad. And then they buff him and he's some god, right? Uh, so that is kind of the uses for saving these guys. And the another huge reason is you can get really high BP on Awaken 5 legendaries, um, especially if you have them skilled up. And sometimes you don't want to do that with heroes. Uh, oh, I have Zealous too. Zealous. I have sold a couple of Zealous. But um, so that is another great use is just getting high BP, right? Some of these legendaries have really high BP, especially once you start getting Awaken 5 and skilled up. Like my Hex, for example, is over 100K now. And that's important for things like GVG. When you go into GVG and... Um, we got one active right now and you want to go ahead and use you know whatever team we got here let me just go in here go like this if you hit this edit team button you can do this quick affiliate and the higher awaken legendaries you have as long as they have some decent gear on them they will have high bp and that increases the power of your demons so this definitely helps a lot when you're struggling to you know beat through some hard defenses and stuff like that so you you definitely want to keep your legendaries and you really don't get a lot in the waken shop i don't think it's that valuable to purchase really anything in the awaken shop maybe like salazar a1 if you want to get more poisons that is the only thing poisons if you want to get more bleeds that is the only thing i've ever purchased out of these awaken shops i don't think there's they did add a couple other in the rotation that's probably something i should add to you know either my spreadsheet or my website but I don't know exactly all of them. They have added a couple more recently. I don't know if they're going to add a lot more of these. It seems like they have the ones that aren't super useful, in my opinion. A lot of times they put uh, heroes in here that aren't that great. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know why you'd be... The only thing I'd be buying in here is probably these legendary skill-ups for 50. I think that's probably a better deal. Um, again, besides like Salazar, the A1 is pretty important if you want to keep bleeds up on Guild Boss, for example. But still, Salazar is not as broken as he was in, you know, the early stages of this game, right? When this game first came to Global, Salazar was a great hero. He had the highest attack in the entire game by a mile, 6,500 base attack. Um, and then recently, you know, we've got a lot more heroes like Ardea, for example, who has really high attack and is really strong. So Salazar has kind of fallen off a little bit, um, especially in Guild Boss, because, you know, a more majority of the teams for Guild Boss, the really, really, really high level teams are not even going to be using Nightmare Faction. So if we go to uh, Guild Info... Go right here, world rankings. You'll notice you do not see a lot. Hey, as I say that, there's literally this this number two guy here. Um, I guess it's it's early in the morning, so not a lot of people are in here. But you can see, not a lot of people using the team with you know Torador, this nightmare team. I, I loved my nightmare team. I used it for a very long time. So. Uh, especially now that we have Lust. Lust definitely kind of maybe brought Nightmare a little bit back into the scene. Night Lust is a great damage dealer, um, for sure. She does really solid in here. But you can see a majority of almost everyone is using Twin Fiend and Araka because they are using the Infernal and the Piercer. What are these? Marksman, I guess. What is this even called? Marksman, I guess. <laughs> Faction. So... Uh, it's funny that I say not a lot of people are using Nightmare, and then I look at the top rankings and you see a couple teams here. I guess Lust kind of brought them back a bit, but um, you see only one Salazar. Was he using Salazar up here? No Salazar. So you can see one of the best things in that Awaken Shop was Salazar, and still a lot of top teams are not really using it. I did use Salazar for a while when I finally got him. It took me forever to get him, but I did use him for a little bit in my Guild Boss team. Um, but since I have swapped over to using the same, you know, Marksman and Infernal uh, team for Guild Boss. So, all right, that's going to be it for the video. I wanted to talk about this. I, I see a lot of people asking, you know, should I get rid of these legendaries? I hear he's bad. Should I sell him? 
Don't do it, guys. Wait till you get an A5, in my opinion. Um, if you're really impatient, you can sell them for something you really need if you really want, like Salazar A1 or something like that. But uh, I would not recommend it. They can buff them later or you just lose out on that high BP that you can use in GVG, et cetera. So a, a lot of reasons not to do it. And, you know, a couple of reasons to build two heroes for this event we got um, starting today, right? Level up, star up, promote. So if you want to build a second of any of your heroes, obviously if you're early game or even really mid game, you're probably not going to do it because uh, you're probably going to want to use your materials on other heroes. But uh, anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and that subscribe button. I'm getting really, K, really close to 10K subscribers. So if you could hit that subscribe button, it would really help out my channel. That's it for the video. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.